Hey everybody, um, this is actually going to be an extra video um, other than my everyday September video. Um, I just have this story to share with you that I think is really like important, sort of. Maybe can we get some better light in here? Maybe. Is this better? I guess this is okay. Um, so, I have this friend who is kind of spiritually gifted, I guess you could say. And um, he goes and plays with Ouija boards a lot, and I know some of you are going to be like, that's not safe, or that's a hoax, and all this other stuff, but just listen to this story um, that I'm going to tell you. Um, so we were just, like, doing the Ouija board thing, you know, we had, like, two or three people on it, and this little spirit comes up, and it's, like, there, and we ask, what's his name, and he says, John, and then we ask for a last name, and it says, Yates, and then we asked where he was from, and he said south, and then it said st, and then it stopped because this other spirit that is with Kevin, his name is Z, um, he took over, and he um, went to the Z letter. Okay, so then like a few minutes later we got back into it, and we asked if he was, I don't know if we asked if he was from England or if he was from America, but somehow we found out that he wasn't from America, and so um, we... From then, we just asked, what year did he die? And it said 1837. And then um, we, uh, I asked how old he was when he died, and he said he was seven. And so I was like, okay, this is interesting. I, I'm going to go, I'm kind of big into genealogy, so I know all these websites that have information about dead people. It's kind of creepy, I know, but it's really interesting to me. And so I went on and looked, and I found a John Yates who died in 1837, who was born in South Stoke in England, which would match the S-O-U-T-H-S-T. And then I asked him what his birthday was, and he said February 4th, 1828. And on here it says his birthday is February 16th, 1828, which I know if you're seven when you die, apparently, you're not really completely aware of everything, and he may not have even known his birthday. He could have been told the wrong one. And so, I mean, it's significantly close, is what I'm saying. And then I looked on here, and it has his parents, which are William and Hannah. And now, nobody else in the room knew this information at the time when I looked on here. And then I asked him what his mother's name was, and he spelled out Hannah. And then I asked him what is, and then I was like, is your father's name William? And he went to yes. So... Basically, I feel like this is very, very strong evidence to show that Ouija boards are not a hoax and that they are real. Um, I'm not crazy. I'm not insane. I'm not wacko in the head. Um, I got a name from the Ouija board. I looked at it on a genealogy website, and I found him, and additional information that he gave us matched information on here. I really don't think there is another John Yates that has the parents William and Hannah who was born February 1828 who died in 1837 like who was born in South Stoke, England. Like the information that matches up is just too like close to ignore and so this was just a really random story but I mean I think it's like significant in a way to like paranormal research or something so I don't know if you're like a paranormal researcher watching this or something but I just had to let you guys know of this so if you want to search up the name John Yates um, who was born 16th of February 1828 according to this in South Stoke, South Stoke England and he died in May 1837 according to this with the parents William Yates and Hannah House if you want to search that up if you're a genealogist or a paranormal researcher or something and you want to use this as evidence toward a something, you go right ahead. Um, I'm just telling you guys what happened. Um, yeah. So this was my story. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you have a wonderful day. And um, if you have any additional stories of Ouija boards or stuff like that you want to share below, feel free to. Um, so yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.